Alright, so the activity that we're going to look at for today is about neutralization. Now, before we go on um, about neutralization, I'm going to briefly let you know uh, what exactly is going to be covered in this uh, virtual reality video. Now, in this virtual reality video, we're going to cover about um, the ions uh, that is present in an alkali and of course in an acid, right? So basically, we have to know what are the ions, the main ions present in uh, both solution. All right, why? Because as we know, neutralization is a process where an acid reacts with a base, right? So base, we should understand, consists of um, alkali, all right? So if the base actually uh, dissolves in water, we call it as alkali, right? Alkali. So base that do not dissolve in water remains as base, but then base that actually dissolves in water, we call it as alkali. Now, if the base, right, does uh, react with an acid, that means here base means it's actually uh, including alkali because all alkali is base, but then not all base is alkali, meaning that if you have a set of base, all right, then you have the alkali as your subset. So that means certain base will dissolve in water and then when that particular base dissolves in water, we call it as alkali. So in general, we refer it as base. So when acid reacts with base, it produces salt and water. Now salt will be a neutral substance. Alright, so in this video, we're going to learn about um, the ions present. Alright, the so like I said just now, it is a short video and the learning standard we're going to cover is, alright, uh, the meaning of neutralization, I just said, alright, so the sentence uh, for the definition of neutralization will be, uh, neutralization is a reaction when an acid, reacts with a base to produce salt and water so the definition is already there lah. all right so this uh, in the definition we need to understand the key word that you're going to include in the sentence so acid base salt and water right so that is for the definition now, uh, the second part is, uh, in this video, we're going to cover on uh, titration. So, we're going to look at titration uh, and the solution that we're going to add to perform uh, the process of titration. Alright, so that is what we're going to cover in the video. So, let's have a look at the video now. You answer correctly on the first try. Drag and drop the ions into their respective beakers to prepare acid and base solutions. You have one barium ion in the container. You have one hydroxide ion in the container. You have two hydroxide ions in the container. You have prepared a barium hydroxide solution. You have one sodium ion in the container. You have one hydroxide ion in the container. You have prepared a sodium hydroxide solution. You have one sulfide ion in the container. You have one hydrogen ion in the container. You have two hydrogen ions in the container. You have prepared the sulfuric acid solution.
You have one chloride ion in the container. You have one hydrogen ion in the container. You have prepared a hydrochloric acid solution. You have completed this activity. Here is your score. You scored well. Select OK to return to the menu and continue to the next activity. Neutralize. Follow the instructions to perform the activity and earn points. You can try multiple times, but points are only awarded if you answer correctly on the first try. Move toward the table by using your controller. Follow the instructions to perform an activity to understand a neutralization reaction. With the help of a pipette, take 25 milliliters of any one solution from the beakers kept on the table. Click on the bulb to fill the solution. Click and drag the pipette to the conical flask to release the solution. Click and drag the dropper over the conical flask to add a few drops of the universal indicator in it. As you have created a sodium hydroxide solution, the color of the solution turns purple, because the universal indicator turns purple in strong basic solutions. Click and drag the funnel to put it in the burette. Click and drag any beaker having an acid solution to fill the burette. Click on the knob of the burette to add the acid solution drop by drop to the base solution kept below the burette. Observe the color of the solution kept in the conical flask on the stirrer. Click on the knob of the burette to add the acid solution drop by drop to the base solution kept below the burette. Question 1. What do you observe when you mixed a few drops of the acid to the beaker having a basic solution? A. The solution turns to pink, then green. B. The solution turns to green, then red. C. The solution turns to red, then green. D. The solution turns to green, then purple. Right. Question 2. Why do you think the color of the solution turns back to its initial color? A. More hydrogen ions are present in the solution as compared to the hydroxide ions. B. More hydroxide ions are present in the solution as compared to the hydrogen ions. C. More water particles are present in the solution as compared to the acid. D. More water particles are present in the solution as compared to the base. That's not it. Right. Add more drops of the acid solution to the conical flask. You have completed this activity. Here is your score. You scored less than 
After returning to the menu, you can try the ions in neutralization reaction of an acid and a base. Follow the instructions to perform the activity and earn points. You can try multiple times, but points are only awarded if you answer correctly on the first try. Move toward the table by using your control. Follow the instructions to perform an activity to understand a neutralization reaction. With the help of a pipette, take 25 milliliters of any one solution from the beakers kept on the table. Click on the bulb to fill the solution. Click and drag the pipette to the conical flask to release the solution. Click and drag the dropper over the conical flask to add a few drops of the universal indicator in it. As you have created a sodium hydroxide solution, the color of the solution turns purple because the universal indicator turns purple in strong basic solutions. Click and drag the funnel to put it in the burette. Click and drag any beaker having an acid solution to fill the burette. Click on the knob of the burette to add the acid solution drop by drop to the base solution kept below the burette. Observe the color of the solution kept in the conical flask on the stirrer. Click on the knob of the burette to add the acid solution drop by drop to the base solution kept below the burette. Question 1. What do you observe when you mixed a few drops of the acid to the beaker having a basic solution? A. The solution turns to pink, then green. B. The solution turns to green, then red. C. The solution turns to red, then green. D. The solution turns to green, then purple. Correct. Question 2. Why do you think the color of the solution turns back to its initial color? A. More hydrogen ions are present in the solution as compared to the hydroxide ions. B. More hydroxide ions are present in the solution as compared to the hydrogen ions. C. More water particles are present in the solution as compared to the acid. D. More water particles are present in the solution as compared to the base. Right. Add more drops of the acid solution to the conical flask. You have completed this activity. Here is your score. You scored well. Select OK to return to the menu and continue to the next activity. Neutralization reaction of an acid and a base. Perform a neutralization reaction. Move toward the table by using your controller. Here we have a mixture of acids in the beaker kept on the stirrer. Click and drag the funnel to put it in the burette. Click and drag any beaker having a base solution to fill the burette. Click on the knob of the burette to add the base solution drop by drop to the acid solution kept below the burette. Let's go inside the mixture to perform the neutralization reaction. Drag and collide the ions of acids to bases and vice versa to neutralize them.
Well done! Select OK to return to the menu where you can exit. New